Hi, in this video, we're going to be talking about slumping and how it affects your body uh, in standing and in sitting mm -hmm. and how that can be contributing to your pain. Okay. So do you have any um, experience with that happening to you? Well, I'm a slumper. I think some people are just naturally slumpers, right? And it, it's like from their personality and maybe some of their confidence and just habit and maybe their parents walked that way. Right. But I think I tend to be a slumper. Not if I recall, you had some problems with your neck. Yeah. Because you were slumping a lot over your computer. Yeah. So I, I'm just reminding her. Yeah. So, so, <laughs> so you know, yell that. And, and it happens with all of us. We all, all have that problem, but some of us have that problem more than others. Yeah. So in this video, we're going to talk about why slumping is not good for you. Because I think knowledge is power and what you can do about it. So, first okay. of all, the whys. The whys. Uh, if we start from the head, from the head down, the whys of slumping is that it puts your head forward and causes a lot more stress on your neck, which could lead to headaches and neck pain, uh, even upper trap and, and shoulder pain. So that's number one. Number two, what happens in this area when we slump mm -hmm. is that we compress our breathing mechanism, our diaphragm. And if our diaphragm isn't moving well, then it doesn't massage our intestines. And so this can lead right. to, to shortness of breath, um, upper back pain because of the slumping, as well as uh, problems with digestion, even constipation, yeah. different pressures on our pelvic floor. I mean, this is a whole system. That is, it, that is so fascinating to me that we could have pain that starts back here from maybe how you work or how you carry your baby, and then it affects your intestines, and if you're constipated or not. Right, because, you know, after you had a baby or, or and before even, your yep. breasts are bringing you forward too. Okay. And then if you are, you know, carrying the baby all the time after the baby, uh, your abdominals are weak, so it's hard to actually stand. A lot of women have like what we call a stretch weakness mm -hmm. in the upper back from being in this posture because you're overstretching the wow. muscles. So, and pressures on the pelvic floor, and we know that we have a lot of pelvic floor issues uh, during the childbearing year. And so that, this can accentuate yeah. all of those things. And if you're having pain, it can actually make that pain worse. As, and we know constipation can make your pain worse in your back or in your pelvic floor. So there's a lot tied up into how we hold ourselves. Uh, and so that's the whole effects of slumping. Mm -hmm. So now what, can what we do about what can we do about this? What can we do about this? So awareness, being aware of how you're holding yourself, and uh, like I said, I love teaching this because it makes me brings it to the awareness to my mind and awareness because I have to cue myself. I have to think about it myself, and so being aware and uh, bringing yourself back up straight, and because as you do that. You're actually exercising your muscles. Mm -hmm. You're making them do what they're supposed to do that they may have been lazy about. Right. Um, using a wall for practice, as we talked about in the last video. Mm -hmm. So if you're coming up against the wall um, and having your arms out, and this may feel really, really unusual or tight for you. So, you know, there's all, all kinds of stuff. We'll do another video on different things you can do with the wall. And you can do three other exercises and you can do a lot more exercises, but three come to my mind to address the neck. Um, and I have already done a separate video on this one, but the chin tuck. Yes. So you're just bringing your head back and feeling that you are stretching the muscles in the back of your neck. This is like the most self a fat chin. This is the most unattractive exercise you can do. So this <laughs> is called a chin tuck and you don't want your head down. You just want it to come back. Right. Okay, and being in a good posture when you're doing it. So that's number one. And number two would be doing uh, to muscle uh, to stretch your pectoralis muscle, which gets really tight in a lot of us just from everything we do in front of us. So that's just bringing your hands back okay. and clasping them together and then just stretching all of this out. And especially like if you're breastfeeding and you're always forward or even just bottle feeding, you're gonna right. get tight here. And this what combined with a really nice deep breath will really help get everything stretched out. And then we wanna do more than just stretching, we wanna strengthen. Mm -hmm. So if uh, you hit that bear band. Here we go. Okay, Mis mysteriously appears here. <laughs> so just taking this band 
and bringing it out. Okay, I'll face this way. And then you're squeezing your shoulder blades together and then coming out. So then t- uh, breathe out. And if, if I have Alexa turn, and then you can see, turn this all the way. And then you can see that when she comes out, she's bringing her shoulder blades together and then relax. And then you're gonna relax your our shoulders down because you don't want them to be coming up. And you're gonna breathe out and pull. So those are three simple exercises, the chin tuck, the pec stretch, and the strengthening for your upper back, back muscles that are really basic, simple things that you can do today to get started. And in our next video, we're gonna talk about more standing tips for you.